Okay, so lead code practice question, design snake game. So in this video, I'm going to introduce a solution for this specific question, and I'm also going to go through uh, the general procedure we should follow in the real code interview. So let's get started. So remember, the first step in the real code interview is try to understand the question, ask uh, proper questions uh, to clarify the ambiguous part, and also at the same time, think about some edge cases. So let's read through this problem. Design a snake game that is played on a device with, with a screen size as height times width. So play the game online if you're not familiar with the game. So the snake is initially positioned at the top left corner with a length of one unit. And you're given a ray of the foot in, and uh, is a row and the column position of a piece of foot the snake can eat. So when the snake eats a piece of food, its length and the, the game score both uh, increase by one. So each piece of the food appears one by one on the screen, meaning the second piece of the food would not appear until the snake eats the first piece of the food. So when the piece of the food appears on the screen, it is guaranteed that it will not appear on the block occupied by the snake. Okay, so the food will not appear on the body of the snake. So the game is over if the snake goes out of the bound or if it is had if it's had of occupy a space that is that its body occupies after moving. Okay. So implement this uh, snake game class. Um, so this one it is a constructor and then this is a move function. So the move function will return the score the game after applying one direction move by the snake. If the game is over then we will return minus 1. So let's see this. Uh, first of all, the snake moved to the right by one, then down by one, and then uh, to the right, uh, and then the length, uh, in the length of the snake increased by one, and also now the score is one. We, we are going to return one, so so on and so forth. So how to do this problem? The next step is about finding idea how to solve this problem and do some uh, space uh, runtime analysis uh, and discuss with the interviewer to get an agreement before proceeding to the next coding step. So we have, so I will go through the solution and at the same time go through this piece of code to explain how it works. So we have, first of all, we define the, so we use, Q, we define the Q uh, we define two two things uh, for the body and uh, one queue for the foot, and then we have a uh, a integer which record how how many of the foot units have been uh, eaten. So the wise the hat, the body, the body defined as a set, which uh, is um, the the corresponding units occupied by the body, and the body queue. Um, so this Q is, uh, be so the head is the last element and the tail is the first element. So it's like every time we try to move, uh, we try to remove the first thing which is the tail and uh, we add one unit into the, uh, into the body Q to the, to the, to the last. And then the foot Q is, uh, we just put uh, the foot in the constructor one by one into the foot queue. So let's take a look at the uh, the constructor. So first of all, we will initialize the west as west minus one, which is for easier computation. Uh, this is about like defining the boundary um, actually um, for for this uh, game. And the foot eat, we initialize as zero, and then we have the body uh, and the body queue initialized with the initial position, which is a uh, uh, upper left corner uh, to be inserted into body and body queue. For the foot, uh, we just uh, go through every area of the foot and insert each of the position into the foot queue. So that's pretty much about the constructor. So let's see the next one. So the move uh, API. So for the move API, uh, we are going to get the current position, the current head position, which is the last element uh, in the body queue and uh, based on the direction it is moving we compute the next position the hat is going to is to going to be located so this one it is a helper function 
if it is upper then and then we minus the row if it is that bottom if it is down then we plus the row if it's left we minus the, the column if it's right then we plus the column so pretty uh, straightforward and after the move we have the next position so if the and then we define another helper function which is snake die to see if at the next position snake the snake will die so for we pass in the next position as a parameter into this uh, helper function the column and the row uh, the row and the column so if the row or column out of the boundary then we are going to say okay then the snake is going to die otherwise we will see if uh, the next position uh, so if the next position equals to uh, the it's not so if the the next position is equal to the tail it is okay uh, because that is because essentially um, essentially if the, the snake disappear uh, sorry the the tail of the snake disappear then the next position is the original tail that's okay it is not going to die uh, but if it is not the if the next position is not the tail and also at the same time the unit is occupied by the body then the the next position is going to be somewhere in the middle of the body of the snake then it, the snake will die so this is the snake die function and then um, so uh, the next one which is uh, to see if the foot so if there's still any foot in the foot queue, and also if um, uh, if the if the so if it, there's st still some foot in the queue, and also the foot doesn't uh, fall into any of the units uh, occupied by the body, um, and uh, the and the next position is uh, the foot in the queue in the in the first the the first position uh i mean the neck the top position of the foot in the queue which means the if we move to that direction we are going to eat one unit of the foot then we are going to uh just uh extend the bo the body queue because we eat a, eat one unit of foot we need to extend our body length by by one and we update our body set and also we pull the foot unit from the queue then we plus plus the foot eat and then we return the foot eat so otherwise then it means next position is not a foot unit so we are going to uh, we are going to just um, remove the tail uh, which is the last one and at the same time remove the 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 unit occupied by the tail from the body and then we are going to add the next position into the into the queue and also add the next position into the body to uh, update uh, the the units occupied by the snake and then we return the foot eat so essentially you can see the algorithm uses a set for a quicker lookup and we use a queue uh, body queue and the foot queue for uh, the for the movement of the snake and also for the consumption of the foot so for each of the operation the runtime is going to be uh, constant like for for the constructor of course it is constant for the move it is also going to be constant just uh, in qdq operation which is which are our all one operation so that's it for this uh, question um so don't forget to do some testing after you're done with coding uh, if you have any question about the uh, solution or about the coding, whatever, uh, feel free to leave some comments below. If you like this video, please help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.